What's up guys? Welcome back to my God of War Platinum walkthrough. Yes, this is Muspelheim. Muspelheim. And um, first of all guys, we're just going to buy a Resurrection Stone from these guys. So, come into inventory, go into Resurrection Stones, and you want to buy a Berserker Stone. This is going to be a thing now. This is going to come useful on the Valkyrie fight. In this video, yeah, we're doing a Valkyrie fight here. And yeah, this is what they do, we resurrect you, but you can only, only hold one at a time, fortunately, so you can't abuse them by socking up on loads. Right, and another thing we're going to do is, we don't need this right now, but we're going to um, come into weapons, Atreus, um, Renix, and where is it? Bitter Squirrel. Yeah, we want to fully upgrade that. We're not going to use it yet, keep Boy Stampede equipped for now, but fully upgrade that, and it'll be ready for later. And obviously make sure you've got your build ready, which we have. Um, obviously Light Runic Attack, we've got Hell's Touch fully upgraded, that's his Talon and Forbidden Grip of the Ages fully upgraded Pommel. Blades, we've got um, Wrath of Artemis, Hyperion Grapple and um, Grips of the Cursed Flame so far, we'll be changing that a bit later on. We've got Boar Stampede, um, armor wise, we've got Sindri's uh, Royal Dwarf and Breastplate, Gauntlets, Sindri's Waste Guard as well. We've got a Shattered Gauntlet of Aegis. Um, we've got Epic Shard in every one, but shards we do want specifically are Eye of the Elder Realm and Andrari's Soul, I believe, and Tears Shards. Skill wise, we've got um, Rage Combat just upgraded to here, just because it upgrades your basic R1 attack a little bit. And we've got everything upgraded in a Talon Bow. Right, yeah, so. That's just a quick um, update on where we are with the build, just if you want a reminder. Come out here and let's crack on with Muspelheim. This is going to take wow. about an hour, guys. Probably a bit longer. But this is such a grind. It's snow? such a grind. Ash. I ran this again. Like I ran it last ash. night and I just couldn't believe how much of a grind this is. I completely forgot how much of a grind this area is. Yeah, it's quite tedious. You're just fighting enemies, and um, as you know, combat in this game, I think combat is a little bit slow in this game, it is a little bit slow. But there'll be some challenges in this where you literally have to survive for five minutes. There'll be one where you have to kill a hundred enemies, and that takes a long time. Um, but once you get to Brock Shop here, guys, you've got a jot in a shrine here. So once you finish talking, I should be able to examine that. Uh, yeah, but make sure you discover the Mystic Gateway. And um, that should be a last Jotna Shrine, by the way. And as long as that's your last Jotna Shrine, guys, that will pop the trophy called The Truth, which is for finding all the Jotna Shrines. You can check how many you found in your labours, in your menu. But yeah, that should be the last one, guys, and it'll pop the Truth trophy. Right over here, once you get to the sort of lava fall, as the trace likes to call them, before you jump across, Shimmy right, and you'll find a hidden coffin here. Yep, find a hidden coffin, and then you can get back up here and jump across to where you were going. Yeah, so this is it. We've got to do basically six of these, and there's two on each one. So press X to set the challenge. This first one, you've got to kill the enemies before the time runs out. They start off really easy, and it'll get a little bit harder. And some are a little bit grindy than others, and some are really fast. Yeah, so just get rid of the enemies quickly, guys, basically. Before the time runs out. You've got loads of time with this one. Yeah, these are actually the good ones. The one we have to kill 100 enemies takes literally about 10 minutes. Yeah, one on my left, but I never know which left he means. Because every time he will say left or right and I look, there's no enemy there. Right, you can actually kick him off the uh, edge of the cliff as well, if you put your weapons away. If you want to go it, um, unarmed, you can kick him off. Works pretty well. Well, I best let him come out. He's protected in there. I've ah, got, got him now. So enemies remain in six. Yeah, not too many. Right, who else wants some? Four left. 
Atreus just attacks, by the way. So it's lightning attacks. It stuns more enemies, but does a little bit more damage. But the um, the ice arrow, it's a little bit more focused on one enemy, uh, but it does a little bit more damage. So um, take your pick. Right after doing it, you normally get a reward appear nice in the form of a legendary chest with some new loot inside, in a little alcove in the um, arena area. And then once you've done it, another the sword will appear again, and this will be like the hard challenge of this uh, um, arena. So press X to start it. Kill enemies in quick succession. Yeah, you got to kill them quickly together, otherwise they respawn basically. Yeah, so you got to kill them all quickly. So um, there's three here apparently. So we're gonna hoard them all up a little bit, I guess. There you go. Yeah, it's it's not too tight window, as you can see here. I hate this one with that bloody. Oh, you got two orgs. Nice. Be nice if we can lo um, lob her off a cliff. Where's she gone? Charging up your um, attacks, pretty good with this one. Right, and now this guy, quickly. Do we get him in time? No, she's come back alive, bitch. Yep, yeah, I hate this one. Oh, did it. Got it. Right. One more wave. When there's waves on a challenge, it's normally about three waves. Yeah, whenever you're in like a wave-based challenge, yeah, it's normally always three. Right. This one. Right, one more. Oh, it's just a little wolfie. Oh, no. He's, he's respawned. Where is he? Ah, oh, bloody lizard. Joking. Ah, not another lizard. I hate these things. I hate this challenge. This is another one that's a bit annoying. Ah, finally. Got him. Right. You mean look at me? Yeah, after doing it, claim your rewards. Yeah, so we move on to the next area. Yeah, so um, to the west. Not many, not um, between many areas, but you'll find a mystic gateway Nobody between almost every area. Um, why wouldn't we jump across? Fucking stupid dialogue. Prophecy, oh, there we go. Yeah, but right sometimes, not all the time, you may find a coffin or something on the way to another, to the next area. Um, but yeah, to make way up here, you should find a mystic gateway. There it is, on your way up. There's another sword. This must be right, another sword. <laughs> So I'm examining it guys and say yes, we can't wait. There we go, this one we come. have to survive for five minutes. Yeah, <laughs> that's basically it. Um Yeah, survive for five minutes guys, so this is it, yeah, just you don't even have to kill any enemies really. Just last for five minutes. We can see here, you see this lava, you can kick him into it, you put your swords away and press R2 and you'll kick him flying. Like so. Okay, fucking dogs. Yeah, so you can either just... Not really much you can do here, you have to, you can't just leave it an idol because you have to, you'll just die. Um, It'll always be the same enemies. It's always these two and the bloody wolves. Yeah, this is it. Just killing these repeatedly for five minutes. They're on like a respawn loop. They just keep spawning. They have infinite lives, these guys. Yeah, they randomly drop hack silver or sometimes may get a random enchantment. Um, but it's, it's look quite rare. Yeah, just let's just do it. <laughs> keep killing the enemies. Right, I can kick you off, mate. That's it, get off that fucking cliff. Oh, fuck you. He died. 
by the end of my foot rather than die from fall damage. Alright, three and a half minutes so far, wow! <laughs> ah. And the thing is, you think you can't get longer than this. The 100 kills one is even longer, it's like twice as long. I don't know why they put one for 100 kills, it should have been like 50. 50 was the better number, but 100. And then right at the end, to finish this most behind off, you have to do you have to do 70 kills again at the end. That's a little bit quicker, because the enemies are tougher, so they spawn quicker. But um, but yeah, there's two challenges where you have to kill a ton of enemies. But yeah, these arenas, you obviously you do the normal. You, each arena you come into, there'll be like a normal, a normal type challenge and a hard type challenge, and then you can move on to the next arena. Um, but later on, once you've done every arena, there'll be like a impossible version of each challenge, which is a lot more difficult. Yeah, like an imp impossible version. Uh, but you only need to do three of them, and um, because you need sort of three keys, and each one will give you a key. Um, but the ones I pick, I pick the three what I deem to be easiest and the quickest to do. We normally do Arena 2 on Impossible, Arena 3 on Impossible, and Arena 5 on Impossible. And um, then we head back up to the top, Arena 6, and we can use the three keys to spawn the final challenge, and that will normally complete Muspelheim. Still can't believe I've got that bloody Jotna Shrine. Yeah, because we should have popped the Jotna Shrine trophy in this, but um, I didn't. You guys may have seen it anyway if you weren't paying attention to your surroundings. It's literally right next to an elevator which we go down. I think I say go in, I think I say go in the south door first and it's literally right there and I missed it. Right, almost there. One minute left. Come on, just killing the same bloody enemies over and over and over. There's not really practice anything, because it's just all this weak enemies, you just spam the buttons. It just becomes a sort of hacker slasher at this point. Oh come on guys, one minute. Give me that chest already. I'm ready. So yeah. I'll let Atreus kill him. You find with your rage mode when you start each arena it's reset a bit annoying but yeah each time you start a new arena a new challenge it's reset so don't worry about hoarding your rage mode ready for the next challenge if it gets full and you want to use it just use it because when you start the next challenge it's going to be back to zero rage anyway so yeah don't worry too much about um keeping your rage mode ready for a sort of more important moment it will not come Right, so I guess more enemies, as you go through this, more enemies spawn at once. There's quite a lot here. Five seconds left. That's it. They will just despawn like that and you'll get your rewards. We won! We won! We um, beat the time limit. Right, loot the chest and this next one, you've got enemies going to quickly regenerate health. And this is actually a way of kicking them off the cliff or into the, kicking them into the lava actually works pretty well. Yeah, so X to start a trial, this is the hard version. Enemies quickly regenerate health. Yeah, so put your sword away. Wait, your axe, I don't have a sword. Swords are too puny. Yeah. Just kick him in the fucking lava or kick him off the cliff, it'll kill him instantly. Yeah, because see, when you try and kill him, the health... Yeah, the health regenerates pretty quick, and you sort of have to use a combination of Urinix and um, uh, Eris' arrows to kill him quickly. Right, killing him in. Whee! <laughs> kick him in the lava. Is it hot in there, mate? If they go into mode where they get where they get stunned, um, you can't actually kick him off a cliff or a ledge when they're stunned. So if that happens, you just have to finish them off. Right, I can get in there, mate. And you. You next. There you go, go and call off. Whoa. 
Right, so who's next? If you get close to the cliff, sometimes Treyas will kick him off as well. The wolves, I don't... can't remember if you can kick the wolves off. No, I can never kick the wolves off. So Shishi Runic attacks on them. Right, you. Oh, we've got a wolf here. Ah, fuck it. You can die. Right, so a few more, and that'll probably be it, I hope. Yeah, so I'm just spamming the arrows quickly and uh, attacking them. Right, you guy, you go back down. We don't want you here. No, you're not allowed. Get off. Right, anyone else going to spawn? Oh, I've got an ice guy. Mr. Projectile here. Do you know your arms are fine, mate? Yeah, if that happens, you have to... Yeah, if it, go, if it gets done, you have to finish him off. Right, is that it? Come on, can't be many more. What's the point of spawning? Oh, it's shield, guys. Right. Oh, well, I got rid of them quick enough. Right, you last one, mate. I've got a feeling this... Doing this on very hard, maybe this could be very tricky, perhaps. Right. Oh, shit, that's a waste. Right, Treyas, use arrows. Yay, finally, we've done that one. That's Arena 2. Yeah, six leads, so you can see it's quite grindy. Yes, loot that le legendary chest. Still can't believe we've got that shrine. <laughs> wow. Right, so we need to go up to the next one. There's the way through. So, yeah, the way through. As Atreus kindly points out, it's to the east. There'll be a mystic shrine just down here. There it is, that mystic shrine there. And um, make your way up now. This next area, so you have to... This bit's a this challenge. Have I said that every challenge is a bit annoying so far? This next one, we have to. There's like a elite enemy, and you have to kill the basic mob to um, remove his shield. And um, his shield only remains removed for like a few seconds, and be, then it regenerates, and you have to kill another basic enemy again. So it's a little bit. It's a little bit annoying because you have to keep. You'll be attacking him, then all of a sudden his um, shield regenerates and you're not damaging him and you have to look for and a basic sword. enemy again. And then sometimes you just won't get to him on time because it's um, oh, one of them bloody it. stupid flying elves that are always in the sky. Um, yeah, but kill a grunts to break Ready? a shield. Right, so there he is. That's the elite enemy. you got to keep killing the grunts to remove his shield. You know when he's got a shield because it will show up. That takes at the top and it'll say elite is invulnerable. That's when you know the shield is there. Right, so as you can see now, you can only do so much damage, then his heal um, shield regenerates. Right, so two enemies remaining before his shield is gone. Sometimes I can't tell these apart, like which one is a strong one and. Um, which one is elite? Right. Yeah, so as soon as you're doing enough damage, more enemies will spawn. Right, I'm going to use my um, light arrows here because they do more focused damage. Right, who's next? Should be one more enemy somewhere. Get that hack silver. There he is, the little guy. I can see him. Right, back onto him, quickly. Just gonna use my runic. Ah oh, no, I almost got him. Should be one more. Right, I'm gonna keep my runic for him. Ah oh, no, not you. Fuck. 
Oh my fucking hell. Right, quickly get him. Hey, got him. Not too bad that time. I think last time it took me a bit longer. And um, because I could never get to him on time and then the shield came back. Um, but yeah, I think it's best just run up to him. Spam your um, light axe runic. And um, a few more enemies will spawn and then just repeat doing that. Yeah, so back up to sword for the hard challenge here. Arena 3. This one we have to kill enemies while they are inside Bravo, the gold me. rings. So yeah, there'll be gold rings which will appear. There'll be sort of three waves to this. And you've got to kill them inside. This bit can be a little bit annoying. Switchy light arrows so it's more focused. You need to wait for them to get in the arena. And um, then kill them. Right. Two there. Oh, I killed them all. Shit. I didn't think um, it would reach them once on the altar. If you're attacking them with just normal attacks, you may want to, once they're in the ring, sort of try and get behind them. So when you attack them, they get knocked back into the ring. Otherwise, you'll end up knocking them out. Right, one more. There we go. So that's wave one. Stay focused. Yeah, it should be three waves, I think, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so wave number two. Three minutes, zero out of five. Obviously, for each wave, the enemies will get more difficult. Right, so we've got fucking annoying elves now. That's one. Leave him. Do not attack that one that's almost dead, Atreus. Please. No. Oh, shit, almost. Let him come in here. He's almost dead. No, Atreus. He's going to kill him. Right, that's three. I think he has killed him, ain't he? Right, one more. Right, just come into this ring, guys. Do not be shy. Right, there we go. We've done that wave. Now, third wave. Now, what will happen? The waves will keep moving around. Uh, sorry, not the wave. <laughs> the ring. The rings will keep moving. Yeah, this time the rings keep moving, so obviously you have to follow the ring. Don't kick him off. I think if you kick him in the platform, it doesn't count as killing him. There you go, the ring has moved. Yeah, the ring will not stay in place for long. Right, quickly get rid of you before the ring moves. There we go, two off five. I bet it's about to move again. There we go, over there. Right, quickly before the ring moves. Shit, that wasn't quite charged up, That's but that's three. That's going over there now. Probably going to move before any enemies reach it, I bet. You watch, I bet it's going to move before any enemies get in here. Right. Oh, no, it didn't. I got one. I'm surprised. Oh, it's coming over there now. Right, come on, guys. One more. He wants... He wants some. Right, you can feel my blade. Yay, we did it. That one not too bad. That went a bit quicker than what I did on my um, practice run. Right, so over to Legendary Chest. Yeah, that's Arena 3 then. Um, three more arenas. This next one, we have to kill 100 enemies. Fucking hell. This is going to take 10 minutes. Gate open. Right, gate is open. There'll be Mystic Gateway outside here. Right, make way up to Arena 4. 100 enemies we have to kill now. I feel like this should have been DLC, you know. I mean, obviously I'm glad that they've put it in them with the main game. But um, I feel like it's similar, they perhaps, I, I bet that they must have considered it at least. Yeah, so interact with this guys, and um, X, this normal one, 100 enemies. Yeah, um, Ready? I bet it's was a thing, maybe oh, at the last minute they decided the to put it within the game, or along the way, they must have thought about putting this at DLC. Because this, Muspelheim and Nilfheim, they really do feel like DLC areas. They do. It feels like something that should have been DLC. So, but I wonder what they do with Ragnarok. Will they do something similar in there? They have areas like this 
which will be um, part of the main game, or will they make it DLC on Ragnarok? Who knows? Because I'm surprised there's no DLC for this game. Because normally with, um, I don't know, with, with sort of some of the huge sort of flagpole type games, I mean like Last of Us, they don't really release DLC, do they? Uh, Ratchet, um, Ratchet and Clank isn't really a big flagship game, is it? But, um, some of the other exclude, um, you know, first party Sony games, they have got DLC. So, um, yeah, I mean, like, you know, Spider Man uh, Days Gone, they had DLC, didn't they, that you could purchase? What's that for? I <laughs> wouldn't even know to not play them. But Uncharted games, they have DLC, don't they? Um, but even free DLC, it's just part of the main game. It's not, they didn't even release it as free DLC, they just lobbed it in the game. So, um, yeah, hopefully the same happens on Ragnarok. Anything like this, it, it's left in the main game and um, it's not implemented as DLC. Right, so you get a few travellers on this, as you can see. I thought I started my heavy runic then, obviously I didn't. Right. He's not ready, apparently. Luckily, I don't need you that much, Trace. You just support. Yeah. Sorry for the harsh reality, but that's all you are. You like an assist. Um, yeah, 87. The count will go down very, very slowly. The thing is, the one later where you have to kill 70. Um, well, you don't have to kill 70. You have a time limit and you have to kill 70 for gold and to complete the area. That just seems to go quicker. Um, but I think the en the enemies do spawn quicker there just because it's an impossible um, difficulty tier of the arena challenges. 84, bloody hell, not even done 25 yet. You to deal with back here. Yeah, you can kick him into the lava like we were before. Oh, nice one, Atreus. Right, and I'm, gonna, I'm just going to use my lightning arrows here. Because quite a few enemies. And um, the hard challenge for this one, you have to um, protect Atreus from getting captured. Yeah, the hard challenge for this arena, you have to protect him from getting uh, captured. Which can be a little bit difficult, actually. Um, you, you have to keep an eye on Atreus. Um, I think you get three captures altogether. And if he gets captured more than that many times, you fail the challenge and you have to restart. And the enemies, they all seem to run straight to Atreus to try and pick him up. And um, talking of the Valkyries, yeah, the Valkyrie. I did it first time when I um, fought it on my practice run. And bear in mind, I haven't fought any of the Valkyries for about... Since I played this in 2019, I've not fought any Valkyries since then. And I killed it first time. But I was in critical health. And that was after using my Resurrection Stone as well. Um, so I did sort of just tank it. And I did still win. Um, but the Valkyries, honestly, the jump in damage that they do to you, literally one attack can take like a third of your health and they can attack you like really quickly and they can kill you almost instantly if you're not careful. That's how bad the Valkyries are. Um, but yeah, you'll see when we get there. He's on 68. Uh, sorry, I'm on 68. So we're getting there slowly. Got our traveller. Oh, it's another one. Hello. Yeah, that heavy runic um, for the blade, you have to aim it. And it can be a little bit difficult. You find if you locked onto an enemy, sometimes you can't aim it. So sometimes with a heavy runic attack for the blades, you have to make sure you're not locked on. And then you can aim it better. Yeah, because if you're locked on, sometimes it'll automatically aim to the side of the enemy and it can miss. So you, you want to make sure you're not on auto aim, and um, 
then you can sort of centralise it on the enemy a bit better. Right. 57, almost halfway. Probably should have saved that for the um I don't know, I thought it's one of the big guys for the um hammer. Fifty-four remaining. Ah, I thought it's a lizard. Yeah, you ha you'll have some uh, orb um orgs appear as well. I think you have some orgs appear. Is it when you're on fifty remaining? We'll see you in a second. Ah, 49, we're over halfway. Yeah, you have a few orcs. Oh, yeah, here he comes. I don't know if you can knock these guys off. Let's see. No, if anything, we're just going to knock him off. My um, shattered gauntlet of ages attack. Oh, uh, look at that. A synchronized kill. <laughs> oh, it's another one. Hello. You motherfucker. Right, 45. That's three orcs. The triplets. Right, I'm going to start trying to kick some off. I don't know. I guess if they're close enough to a cliff, I will. But a lot of time, by the time you get them to a cliff, you can have probably kill them. Left side. Ah, oh, it's actually right that time. That was on my left. Thirty-seven. On the way. Ticking him off one by one. Yeah, fucking ten minutes. The thing is, you have to come and do the three of the challenges again. So when you think you've done them all, you don't have to return. You have to come again and do three more. Like I said, you have to do the impossible versions. Stop fucking parrying me. Ah, 31. 30. Right, we'll get this punk. Do my through my accent. Seems like a waste of time. Well, yeah, I'm trying. Yeah, like that. If you're not auto aimed, you can actually manual aim a lot better uh, with the heavy runic attack. Yeah, so just bear that in mind, especially when it comes to the Valkyries. I don't think I am. Um, Come if I do. I lock onto the Valkyrie or not? I can't quite remember now. Right, so we've got this big guy here. He's dead. 20 enemies remaining. Oh, we've got a traveller. Look at this. You can't seem to use your heavy rune attacks on them because they're thick armour. You use it on Valkyries, just not on these guys. Because they're bloody armour. There's nothing to latch onto, I guess. Just metal on metal. A Skyder Steel versus Traveller Steel. Alright, oh, come on, 16 left. We're almost there. Bastard, didn't see that coming. That shattered my mind that way. Right, he's next. Ten left. I traveller here. It's just a point. I think there's a point where two spawn. 
shit. Yeah, should have blocked that. Uh, dodge out of the way, I mean. Yeah, the heavy, the heavy um, axe attack as well. That's easy to aim as well when you're not locked on. Yeah, so that's another one. You want to make sure you're not locked on when you use it. The um, axe heavy runic. Yeah, the heavy runic attacks better when you're not auto aimed. But I guess that's a better way to remember. If it's a heavy runic attack, make sure you're not auto aimed because then you can um, aim it better. Right, two left. Fucking hell. Finally! That's the grindiest challenge, actually. Yeah, you will not get any longer than that. Gets easier every time. Yeah, loot legend legendary chest afterwards. And then we do the hard version. Right, the hard version is... Do not let them capture him. Don't worry, I will not let them capture you. You have... Prepare yourself, my boy. words. Yes, you have sir. my words. I will not let them capture you, Traitors. Right, so yeah, keep an eye on Traitors. Can't let them capture him. I think you normally have three or four enemies the first time. Then it's about six enemies on the second time. I can't remember how many on the, the third time. Right. Almost ready. Oh shit, look at that, he fucking fell off the cliff. He must have stepped back and didn't realise where he was. You can get back down. Right, wave complete. Stay focused. Yeah, about three waves. So, capture count. You've actually got a count now. If he gets captured more than three times, you have to restart this challenge. Not the normal one, just this one. Yeah, don't worry, we've not got to kill 100 enemies again. Right, some orgs will spawn, by the way. Can orgs, can orgs, um, orgs capture him, or is it just normal enemies? Can't even remember. Thanks for loving that up here, mate, before he died. Oh shit, here comes the org. Right. Oh shit, it's gonna grab him. No, it's not. Not on my watch. Wave complete. One more wave, guys. Yeah, keep an eye on him. Obviously, be more enemies trying to um, pick him up on this one. Oh, we got a traveler as well. Right, where is there? He is. Right, travelers. I right, got this guy here. Yeah. No point using the um, heavy blades on him because it doesn't do anything. Yeah, you can't use it on the travellers. Too much armour. Right, it's just the last one. Ah, oh, we did it. Ah, oh, not too bad. Yeah, I've had a lot of problems with that one before. I've had times when he just keeps getting grabbed and I have to keep restarting it. But the practice time and this time, yeah, not too much problems. No, he's not even been captured once. Just keep an eye on him. I think it's only the basic enemies that can... Uh, I see the way up. Uh, grab him, I think. So I'm um, just keeping an eye on them. Right, make way up here now. There's actually a coffin on the way up to Ooh. Arena Five. There goes my arm here. Um, so up here, and um, yeah, after jumping up one, well, I guess twice, you can shimmy left, and um, you find a coffin, guys. This one's nicely hidden. There's more materials. Right, so loot that coffin. One more arena, guys, and then we're onto the Valkyrie. Hope you're ready for it. 
Yeah, so just shimmy back across. Uh, take a leap of faith there. Launch upwards. Yeah, once you get up, guys, miss the gateway just to the right here. This one's a little bit off track, off the path. Um, but yeah, grab that Mystic Gateway and um, then make your way up to Arena number 5. Yeah, this arena is a little bit quicker because um, the normal challenge, we have to kill enemies to increase the time. And then the hard challenge is we have to avoid taking damage, basically. Yeah, you have to be very careful with the avoid taking damage one. Um, but this one's quite easy. The first one, avoid enemy, uh, kill enemies to increase your time. Press X to accept the challenge. Right, let's do this. Be ready, boy. I am. Be ready, player. Right, yeah, just kill him. Oh, we've got a traveler there. Kill him in a second. He's hiding. Right, let's use that first, and then I'll do this. And then while I'm charging this up, I'll do that. Yeah, then let's do this one. And let's switch to this. No, I'm not even going to do my blade attack because it's just going to bounce off him. Right, he's dead. Pick up some goodies. Some hacks over that he dropped there for me. Right, wave complete. Yeah, three waves there'll be. Always three waves. Right, so... um. I've got an eyeball there. One there. There's another one. Oh, I've got a werewolf here. Some more eyeballs. There, an eye for an eye. Are we still on wave two? It's just wave three now. Oh shit! Ah, oh, fucking missed him. Wow. Give me that quick. Get that way, Trace. Right, yes, you got a big rock guy. Oh, that's it. What's the? Did I go into three waves or was it just two? I didn't even notice. Yeah, so once you're doing that, guys, get a chest. Yes, that's one of the quicker ones. And the last one before the Valkyrie, we have to avoid taking damage. Yeah, so avoid uh, taking any damage. That means no pain whatsoever. Right guys, this is the challenge for avoiding taking damage. Again. Yes, I failed this three times already because I'm a complete idiot. <laughs> um, so first of all, you normally have like four enemies spawn in. Be very, very careful, especially the guys with um, a lot of projectiles at you and also the eyes because they can shoot projectiles. Um, also, enemies may charge at you sometimes. If the enemy looks like it's charging, best to get out of the way. And do not rely on your arrows stunning the enemies because they will not always stun the enemies. Yeah, so um, just remember that. Yeah, your arrows will not always stun them. Right, so it's four, four first. And um, yeah, watch out for the eyes. Lay lob projectiles as well to so get rid of them first. And watch out with the guys with firearms. Yes, lay lob projectile. There's another bloody eyeball. Well, yeah, projectiles, annoying. I'm really worried here because I've let them all spawn. <laughs> right, that's him. That's that one. Right. Yeah, so you have four spawn and then you have six spawn. Yes, that's six. Right, so yeah, yeah you have a group of four. Then it'd be a group of six. Ready and wait. 
Wow, yeah. See that? He almost got me, that guy. And now it looks like it's four. Yeah, watch out for that charge and attack. Look at that mad combo he was doing then. The nutter. Yeah, and then you have a group of four. And now it's probably going to be six again. There you go. It looks like it's all these sort of brute type enemies. Right, that should kill most of them, hopefully. Yeah, three remaining. Here they all are. I can see them all. Right, send the boys after them. That's it, it's done them. He's going to charge at me in a minute, one of them. No, he's not. And we did it, guys. Wow. Yeah, that could be a little bit annoying, that one. So you have 20 enemies in total. They'll spawn in a group of four, then in a group of six, then in a group of four, and then a group of six again. So four, six, four, six. So that's what you need to look out for. The last, the first and last round of enemies isn't too difficult, as you can see. Um, yeah, it's too difficult, as you can see, because you normally, you, you just get mainly sort of um, melee based enemies but the sort of um i guess second and third wave you have projectile type enemies spawn so yeah watch out for them guys and obviously watch out from charging you as you saw there they do like a mad combo where they charge you and they can try to attack you about three or four times so just be careful of that i just went with uh, dodging out of the way because if you try and block it sometimes they can actually stagger your block you know knock your shield out of the way and um, then they can get a hit on you so yeah, maybe best to do it that way, guys. Right, so up here, and we're going to fight the Valkyrie. Uh, but first of all, we're just going to walk back to the shop and just upgrade something, which will um, give us a nice fly. extra perk, which will just help our but build a little bit. I strongly concur. Yeah, there she is, the Valkyrie. But first of all, um, yeah, I should have done this already. You want to make sure you've got full rage mode. So switch to um, the bit of squirrel. Make sure you've got the lightning arrows equipped because um, blue arrows will spawn blue arrows will spawn um, health health um, items, but the uh, yellow arrows will spawn the rage ones. There we go. Do that three times, and then warp. We should have done this. As soon as we finished Arena 5, by the way, because it takes two and a half minutes for that to recharge. Yeah, then warp to block shop. Because um, it looks like I need to use it one more time to fully upgrade my rage. Because we, we want full upgraded rage basically going into the Valkyrie fight. Right, so there we go. Jump inside here. Okay, so at the shop, guys, we're just going to craft gonna the blade's pommel and the grips off the Forgotten Flame. We can upgrade that, uh, craft that now. That's going to be one of our end game uh, pommels for the blades. Yeah, you equip that and then you can upgrade it once. That's all you can manage at the moment. So, blades, uh, sorry, uh, blades pommel and you want to upgrade it once. Yeah, so only once, guys. That's all we can manage at the moment. Grips off the Forgotten Flame. Right, come back out afterwards. And, yeah. Make sure you got that equipped. And, yeah, ready for Valkyrie, I guess. Armor-wise, yeah, looks like looks like we're all good. Make sure you got your um, Berserker Stone ready. So, if you've died through any challenges and you have to use your Berserker Stone, make sure you've got another one. You can see the bottom right on my hood there, that little red icon with the um, up arrow inside it. That's the um, Resurrection Stone. Yeah, so um, really you want to have your Boar Stampede ready going into this Valkyrie battle. Right, so the Valkyrie next, guys, obviously. So yeah, first of all, just make sure you've got a full rage meter. So wait for Squirrel to recharge, and then once you've got full rage, just make sure you wait for it to recharge again, so you can switch back to Boy Stampede. I'll skip ahead until I've done that, so it's going to take like a few minutes, and then we'll start on the Valkyrie, guys. And I'll try and walk you through as we go along. If you want more details on the boss fight, more details um, on the Valkyries, and how to fight them in general, and in my build, just check my text guide. 
Links in the description and you can find it all broken down via text. It'll be a lot a lot easier to sort of um, refer to certain points there and exactly how to um, approach them. Right, so I'm going to skip ahead guys to just before we begin the battle. Right, once it's refilled guys, just make sure you switch back to Boy Stampede afterwards. There we go. Right, let's do this. So sometimes you do an attack where she'll jump in the air. You need to be very careful of that. Right, so start with Boy Stampede. Light Runic Attack. Charge this up. There we go. Blade of Chaos. That, and then Heavy Attack, Blade of Chaos. And then your Talisman. Oh, it looks like I missed there. Right, normally you'll block and just wait for him to recharge now. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to wait for Blaze to recharge first. A lot of her attacks, it's best to just keep dodging away from them. Use Rage Mode only if you get really low in health. Yeah, save Rage Mode for when you get really low and use R1 attack because it refill your health. Right, looks like all my they've all recharged now, so I'm going to get ready. Just wait for my window. Right, let's go now. And then this one. Hey, once she jumps in the sky, quickly dodge out of the way, guys. Because that will happen. Right, she's about dead. And got her. Yep, yeah, so once you got her, guys, press R3. And um, finish her off. Right, that went pretty smoothly. I'm quite surprised. Yeah, I just tanked it on my practice run and didn't dodge anything. And I literally only just did it. Um, but yeah, do your runic attacks and then just block. And um, just try to roll away from her attacks until your four main runics have recharged. And then just wait for a window. And then start doing your four runic attacks again. And then block and try to dodge your attacks. And just keep doing that, guys. When she jumps in the air, that is one attack you really do need to try and roll away from. Yeah, when she launches right up, like directly up into the air. What happens is, after a few seconds, she'll drop down right onto you if you stay in the same place and do tons of damage. That one, you do want to try and get away from. Right, look at all these goodies. So you've got Gondor's helmet. And what else we've got? Um, you've got Leviathan's eye. The Godless, it sounds like we did We've the got right thing. Asgardian Steel. For more of these Valkyries. More of them? We are stronger than anything. We've got Raging Inferno of Muspelheim. Provide good experience. Aye, We've got the Gauntlets the of the Valkyrie. And we've also got Asgardian Steel. And we've also got two legendary chests to loot as well, guys. Yeah, right, so we're gonna loot these. The the armor that the Valkyries drop, it is quite good, but the armor which we use in this build is just it's it's better suited around spamming runics yeah the valkyrie armor yeah it looks awesome and you know it's got good stats and stuff so yeah loot these two and then after that we're going to walk back to um yeah we're going to walk back to where century shop and uh purchase a few things yeah it looks really good the valkyrie stuff but for our build and the way Going to be fighting the way we're going to be fighting um it's just better with the sets i'm going to be using just because it's mainly their perks it's their perks really um the perks are really important in this game it's not all about stats just the perks really work well the good one on Sindri's armor is um because you got a chance when you use a runic attack to randomly protect it may to randomly make invincible for three seconds is it is it two or three seconds um it's a random perk which it almost always triggers when you use a runic and it is an awesome perk especially in fighting valkyries it means you cannot be um damaged while you're using your runic attack as long as you do them all sort of quickly together okay guys so um yeah sorry um come to the shop and we're going to purchase uh well we're going to craft uh where is it oh yeah buy Yeah, sorry, I was trying to remember where it was. Resources here. And you want to purchase a Chaos Flame, which we can do now, because now we have a Raging Inferno of Muspelheim. Yeah, purchase that. And then we want to upgrade it. Yeah, it's coming to Blade of Chaos, and we can upgrade it to maximum now. And upgrading this to maximum, guys, 
will get you the fully upgrade the Blades of Chaos. Yeah, look, it will get you that trophy, fully upgrade the Blades of Chaos. Yes. And what we're going to also do afterwards is we're going to come into Chest Armor. We're going to come into Sindri's, uh Breastplate. And we're going to upgrade that to level 1, which you can do now. And that should also get you, if you haven't already, it will get you the Dwarfen Ingenuity Trophy, which is for upgrading a piece of armor. Yeah, that will pop that for you. Right, once now you've done that, that, now we've got Blades of Chaos at maximum level. We can actually come into skills. And now we can purchase these. Look, it gives you an extra 10 permanent increase to these stats, which is awesome. So we're going to purchase these now. Yeah, that one. This one. And this one, yeah. So pretty awesome, guys. Permanent increase to your stats. That's in Blade of Chaos. And that is all we want. Right, so back into the Mystic Gateway. Four more four more little challenges, guys, to do. And then we're all done here. So we're going to do Arena 2, Arena 3, Arena 5. And then the last one on the top where the Valkyrie was. So walk to Arena 2, guys. Don't worry about your rage now, because whenever you start a challenge, your rage will be reset. Yeah, so make sure you got Boy Sampede. Yeah, so Arena 2. So we're going to start this one. This should be um, kill enemies before the time runs out. You need to do 3 to get the keys. Yeah, Trial 2, impossible. This one is not too bad, guys. It begins. Yeah, so kill enemies within 4 minutes. You can only do this within about with about 1 minute 30 left to spare. So you do have quite a bit of time. Is that a witch? No, don't teleport. Yes, just got her in time. Yeah, them bloody jumping things here. Jumping jacks. There's loads of them. I'm not sure exactly how many enemies you have to kill here. Quite a lot. Yeah, it's just careful. They do, they do jump on you back, guys, and it will stun you for a few seconds, as you know. Right, I guess that's the first wave, I guess. Oh, great. Right. So. Ah, fucked up. Yeah, if you, if you stun her and use your heavy axe attack, charged up, you can kill him in one, which is pretty great. Get rid of him nice and quick. Ah, oh, not these things. These are just as bad as revenants. Oh, I was going to use my light runic then, but I can't. It's not charged up. Right, that's one of them down. And I guess this one. Right, yeah, it's probably about a minute left. Yeah, like I say, you can normally do this in about 1 minute 30. Oh, here we go. Shit. Fuck. Ah, oh, no, got a first time, nice. I'm always happy when I kill them straight away. Yeah, so obviously the, you can see the enemies are high level now. This is why it's best to do this at the end of the game. So you don't have to... If you do if you do this early on in the game, it means you'd have to come back. And, you know, come back um, a bit later when you're more powered up. It's my axe. Right, one, oh, 1 minute 50 that time. Yeah, afterwards, collect your rewards. Yeah, that's the only challenge we have to do here, guys. Yeah, so grab your reward afterwards. Key off a second. We need three of these. Right, and we need to go to Arena 3. Um, This way, wasn't it? Yeah, so I'm just going to get to Arena 3 on foot, and then we'll warp to um, Arena 5. And then climb up to Arena 6. Yeah, three more guys, and we're done. Three more challenges. Yeah, it's quite grindy, isn't it, doing much behind. And Nilfheim is just going to be... I think I've got a feeling Nilfheim is going to be just as bad as this. I've not um, practiced Nilfheim yet. But yeah, I've got a feeling that's going to be just as long. Um, 
The last part will be quick. So it's just it's just teleporting around and killing Valkyries, basically. So that shouldn't be too long. Um, but yeah, Mil Muspelheim and Nilfheim are quite long chapters. Nilfheim's quite a bit more grinding than this. So this is trial three. Trial three, kill enemies while they are inside the gold rings. Ready. Yeah, so I know this one was a bit annoying, but it's honestly one of the easiest ones of the impossible tier. Right, so I'm just going to use my um, lightning arrows, uh, blue arrows here. That's one done. No, let's kill him inside the ring. Right. No. Oh, lucky they were both in there. Right, that's, uh, I guess, the first wave. Oh, just killed him inside the ring. Right, get behind him. So I don't knock him out. There we go. Right, who else? Right, that's three killed. Right, get this one now. He's sort of inside it, I guess. There we go. Right, one more. And he's dead. That's that wave complete. Right, one more wave, I think. And uh, the rings will probably start transporting around now as well. So you've got, oh, you've got to kill eight here. But you get five minutes to do this one. Right, Treyas, to me, mate. Because you're distracting the enemies. And obviously, they're stronger level now as well. That's one done. Oh, fuck it, it's an org. Come on, mate, don't be shy. Why wouldn't you come in my ring? You, you are allowed in here. Don't worry, you can come in. Fuck's sake. Oh, bollocks. Yeah, okay. I know, I should have dodged that. <laughs> right, you die in that ring. Yeah. What? He died in there? What happened? That org died in that... Oh, yeah, it did count. It didn't... It didn't, um... Uh, register on the um, tracker straight away there, did it when I killed him? I guess it takes them a minute to bleed out the um, orgs. That's four of eight. Oh, another orb coming by the looks of it. That's five of eight. Three more. Is this it? This is three. That should be six of eight. As long as he dies in the ring. Yep, yeah, there we go. Right, just you two. One left, and we've done. Yeah, we did that one. Right, go and loot the chest, guys, and go and do the last two challenges. The last one, um, we have to kill enemies to increase the time. A bit similar to the first impossible one where we have to kill enemies before the time runs out. Now we have to kill enemies to increase the time. But it's another easy one. That's why I picked it. Right, and now we're going to... Yeah, it's going to warp up to... Um, arena 5. So we're out of 3 now and we want to get to Arena 5. So yeah, we'll just warp up there. So yeah, Arena 5. Let's go. Shouldn't have take too long. There you go. To spawn the portal. Wow. Right, so yeah, you spawn you spawn there and you still have to make your way up a little bit, unfortunately. This is spawn you right outside the arena.
Right, and um, here we are. Yeah, kill enemies to increase the time. And this will get you the third and last key which we need to activate the um, the hidden trial. Right, let's do it. So kill enemies to increase time. I think I can do that. Follow my lead. Say the word. But you see they're sort of level seven, wow. Guess we can kick him off. Yeah, kick him in the lava if you want. <laughs> Get rid of him quickly. There you go, piss off. Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay, I should have rolled out of the way. I don't this. Ah, oh, fucking look, look who we've got. Stay there, don't teleport. Yes. Oh no, I missed her with one. Oh, she, <laughs> she fell in the lava. Ah. Uh, Never mind. That's it, some of the boss. Right, who else? Uh, I've got a traveller here. Ah, oh, two of them. Come to daddy. Oh, I've got some of these basic mobs first. Another basic, basic mob over there. Right, let's get this guy. Right, what do you think you're doing? Right, what am I doing? Right, that's him done. He's staggered, I guess. I'm not ready. I think the two travelers are like the last enemies for it, actually. Yeah, that's it, pretty much. Yes, yeah, so that's pretty quick, that one. Yeah, these ones I picked, you can do any three, but I think these ones are the quickest and the easiest. So Arena 2, Arena 3 and Arena 5 we did on the impossible one uh, to get three keys. But loot the chest, there we go. That should be a third key that you need guys. I see the way up. And um, yeah we've got to make our way all the way up now to Arena 6. The Mystic Gateway was all the way back down there so we're just going to climb back up to Arena 6 and do the last one guys where you have to kill 70 enemies to get gold pretty much. Yeah, you get about seven minutes to do so. Yep, yeah, and um, after this we'll upgrade the blades, um, the grips of the Forgotten Flame to max. And then we'll warp to um, Nilfheim guys ready for Nilfheim. Yeah, quite a long video, but I guess at least this will keep you busy. <laughs> this Merciful behind will keep you busy for quite a while. Right, let's do it. Final sword. The hidden trial. Yeah, there we go. So we need to get gold, which is 70. Set the challenge. Let's do it. Ready? Uh, Save your game before you start this. Oh, I can't remember if... Um, if you fail, you have to go and get all the keys again. Can't actually remember, but yeah, so... Shit, that'd be pretty bad, wouldn't it? If each time you fail, you have to go and get all the keys again. Yeah, so just make sure you save before it. So if you fail this, you can do it again. You need to get 70 in total. Yeah, we need to get gold, which is 70. So, you, it's quite easy. You'll get, you'll probably get about 90 or so, probably, in, um, well, eight minutes you get. So... 
and switch to my lightning arrows so I stun them all at once. Obviously the enemies start off, start off weak but get more um get stronger. As you um get more enemies and kill them. So that's eleven so far. Yeah, I think that, I think I just saw an org climbing up. I oh, know it's somebody two lava rocks. I thought one of them was an org climbing up. Right, fifteen. Yeah, so as you can see, bronze is very easy. Easy to get twenty kills in eight minutes. Ah, oh, fucking Ravager, I see ya. Piss off. Oh, fuck it, let's get rid of her, still my Eddie. Don't move. And what she does, she fucking teleports. Stay there. Good girl. Yeah, you got her. That's her, gone. The other things which will slow you down, them and the um, lizards that bore into the floor, the other things that will slow you down on this, so it's best to try and get rid of them quickly. Yeah, and occasionally you'll get random enchantments dropped, like pointers dropped on the left over here. Yeah, occasionally random things will drop from the enemy, so I got that random enchantment there. Right, 128, should be on silver soon. Don't want these to jump on me. Right, so we've done silver. We've still got five minutes left. Almost on 50. So yeah, as you can see guys, you get plenty of time to do this. Ah, oh, not these fucking things, bro. These lizards. Oi, no. Where's she going? I was trying to do this. Ah, oh, there we go, it worked. I didn't think it was... I was pressing the wrong buttons because I was holding L2 instead of L1. Right, so we're on 52, easy. I've only got to get 18 more kills in 4 minutes. I've uh, got a shield guy here. Yeah, well that'll go through your shield, easy. Right, 55, 15 left. And I've got full rage mode, if I need it. But I shouldn't. See if you can block this. <laughs> I didn't think you'd be able to. <clears throat> right. I should just keep them off the cliff, shouldn't I? Right. Yeah. You see, they're getting they're getting quite a bit tougher, aren't they? They're taking longer to kill now. I mean, they're only at level five, but yeah, the health they're getting bigger and bigger health pools. Imagine if you had to do this with no damage. Well. Wow. Right, you hammer guy, stay still. Right, 10 left in 3 minutes. I can easily do that, I think. I never do he um, heavy attacks. 
Oh, and attacks, they're just quicker. Right, eight left to get gold. So they're called Night... What's called Nightmare? It's the eye, I think. Yeah, not that guy. Is that a witch? Oh, that's an eye. That does a lot of damage though, that um, heavy heavy blade attack for really. Sorry, the um, heavy runic attack for the blades. What am I saying? Who are you? Grey dude. Okay, I'm not going to try and knock you off. Right, so we're on 170. Right, let's use rage mode, why not? So we've done it guys, I've got what I needed, just got to keep going on until the time runs out. Right, that's my rage mode gone. Don't you teleport. Nice. Fucking hell, it's got like one hit left. 30 seconds. I wonder, can you get more kills than me? I'm just literally, it's literally hacking and slashing. Just spamming the buttons here. Oh, that we've got a witch. Fucking things, I hate them. Oh, that's it. Oh, time's gone. Ah, uh, yeah, so we've got gold, guys. We've got 81. So, you do have like a minute. A minute. What did I have? About a minute to spare, I think it was. Right, loot the legendary chest afterwards for all the goodies. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of these for upgrading. Right, so we're all done here, guys. Multiple Heim, and that should get you the trophy um, Fire and Brimstone. Complete all of the trials of Multiple Heim. Yeah, that should get you that trophy, guys. Fire and Brimstone, complete all the trials of Multiple Heim. Okay, so we're going to walk to Holdra's shop. Uh, we're going to upgrade something. And, um, sorry, first of all, I just want to fully upgrade. Uh, not upgrade, but I want to refill my um, rage mode ready for later. Yeah, so you equip the squirrel, make sure you've got light, uh, lightning arrows, equip, I can't remember the actual, oh, shock arrows, isn't it? Yeah, make sure you got them assigned, and then you squirrel, and then it'll summon rage. There you go. And then if you need to use it, you should be able to use it again before you get to Nilfheim. And it takes two and a half minutes to recharge. So, Brock shop. Yeah, so it's quite a long bit, that guys. Quite a long video, but um, yeah, that's that's Muspelheim. Right, so where's the uh, portal? Don't tell me it's hiding around the corner. Where's the portal? Should have appeared by now. Oh fuck it! I thought that was. I was going to say, is that it over there? Why appear bloody right miles away? Right, so um, yeah, we're just going to upgrade the grips of the Forgotten Flame. If you used your Resurrection Stone at the Valkyrie, yeah, buy another one. So you got one ready for later, guys. Yeah, so upgrade Blades Pommel. And uh, you're going to upgrade this to the max. There you go, upgrade 
of grips of the forgotten flame successful so that should be fully upgraded now yeah and that's basically gonna be an end game blades pommel see that's level eight now yeah it's got a great perk that one that's why i like to use it now what right let's get to nil five guys yeah, so we'll um, head into the portal room and uh, warp to Nilfheim, so we're ready to begin the next video. So this was, what, almost 90 minutes long, this one. Took quite a long time, Muspelheim, and I'm afraid to say Nilfheim's going to be a similar sort of time, I think. Yes, a lot of grinding to do in Nilfheim. It's a sort of course, uh, sort of roguelike course, but you have to keep running it multiple times in order to stock up on the materials which you can only get there and the the big thing is is if you die you lose all your progress on that run so the key thing is if you want to get through nil farm quick do not die but um, hopefully what I'm going to showcase on the next video I can make it a bit simpler for you guys um, it's still a bit of RNG involved but um, for the most part I'm hoping I can sort of explain it all to you um, in the video show you a few runs and um, Get through it quick. Yeah, so here we are, Nilfheim. The last sort of um, sub area we need to complete before killing the Valkyries in the final part. So here we are, guys, ready to begin the next video. Yeah, so I'll leave it there, guys. Most of the time done. Nilfheim on the next one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.